I frequently get asked whether it's better to have your games library all digitally or all physically on the Switch. And I kind of resent this question because it's not better one way or the other. The best way to be is just get the game however you feel like it. It doesn't matter how you get the game as long as you're playing the game. But then again, I made the decision from the very beginning that I was going to have my games library on the Switch all digitally. And this shouldn't matter to me, but it does. I like having all of my games with me wherever I am, even though I never go anywhere. But... This poses some problems as a collector. Do you really own these games? What do you do about storage? Aren't games more expensive on digital storefronts? Maybe going all digital isn't for everybody. This video is sponsored by Gamefly. Maybe your reasoning for going all digital is that you just don't want a bunch of games taking up space in your house. Well, for three months, you can get Gamefly's two-disc subscription for just $9.95 per month. And we're gonna break this down right now. So, one full-price brand new AAA game is $60. So, if you get two of them, that's $120. If it's something you're looking to beat just once, why not get it with Gamefly? That would save you $110. And if you're getting two games every month, well, I'm not your accountant. They have all the current consoles, and they even have games dating back to the PS2 era. They also have 4K Blu-rays, and with the two-disc subscription, you can mix and match. Gamefly will have games from the next generation whenever that comes out, and with those games rumored to be upwards of $70, well then, then my math's all wrong. It took me like an hour to draw. This offer is only available at the link in the description below, so click there to get Three months of Gamefly for $9.95 per month. And of course, thank you, Gamefly, for helping support the channel. So I'll admit, I want to be all digital, but I still end up with some physical games. Sometimes we just get sent physical games. Thank you, Limited Run and Super Rare games. For collectors, Limited Run and Super Rare are great, and I consider myself a collector, even though most of my games are digital. You gotta make an exception for some things. I also will sometimes buy popular games if I know I could get them early. There's a local shop by me that has no problem breaking street date on popular games, so I will get a physical copy if I know I can play it a day or two early. A lot of times I'll give that physical copy away either to my brother or to one of you guys in a giveaway, and I'll buy the digital copy for myself because I hate money that much. And digital just means that much to me. But that's a business expense and probably not something that many people watching this can relate to. It's just something that I felt like I needed to explain because whenever somebody hears that I'm all digital and then they see a little cartridge icon on my home screen, they ask questions and I got some explaining to do. And having that game a day or two early helps me do my job easier. It brings in more viewers if I'm gonna do a live stream. It helps me get a video out earlier if I'm gonna do a video on it. Even doing a giveaway is a marketing expense. At least that's how I justify it to myself. One of the main concerns for going all digital is that you don't technically own the games. That's a little harsh. You own the games, 100%. It's just that after you purchase the game, Nintendo or whatever digital storefront you purchase it from could eventually remove the game from that digital storefront or close down entirely. There are a lot of games that have been removed from consoles in the middle of a console's life cycle. There's a website, delistedgames.com, that chronicles games that are delisted from Steam, the PlayStation Store, Xbox Live, the eShop, and others. For example, you can't download Pikmin 3 on the Wii U anymore ahead of its Switch release. So if you purchased that and didn't have it installed on your Wii U, too bad, no warning, just taken off the store. Scott Pilgrim has been in the news recently because of the creator's battle with Ubisoft to put it back on sale. After Telltale Games dissolved, a bunch of their games just vanished. So it's well within the realm of possibility that some of the games that I purchased from the eShop just might not be available at some point. And there's a very simple solution to this, and that's a gigantic micro SD card. 
Now I'll warn you, you do not need a super large memory card for the Switch. I definitely do not recommend getting a one terabyte card right away. It's way too expensive. I think the best deal to size ratio you can get right now is a 200 gigabyte. And that should be way more than enough for you. I have an older video that goes way in depth about the best micro SD cards you can get, but the TLDR is just get a cheap SanDisk one. Speed doesn't matter, so you don't need to get the premium expensive ones. But also I say SanDisk because I know they're a reliable company and there are a lot, and I mean a lot, of garbage micro SD card manufacturers out there. Samsung is fine, PNY is fine, Kingston is fine, but my favorite is SanDisk. I have a very large library because it's my damn job to have a very large library. I started with a 200 gigabyte, then I upgraded to a 400 gigabyte, and now finally a one terabyte. It was actually on sale when I got it, so it wasn't too bad, but $250 for a memory card is still kind of insane considering the Switch is only $300. So I spent almost as much on a memory card as the Switch itself cost. Right now, these cards are going for over $400. So I would say just get a cheaper one, a 128 or a 200 gigabyte and wait for a sale, like a Black Friday deal or a Prime Day deal or something like that. You will save money by getting a cheaper one now and waiting for a deal. The only reason I went through all that is because I felt the need to have every single game I've ever purchased on this micro SD card. So if any of the games are removed from the eShop or in the far future when Nintendo closes the Switch eShop just like it did on the Wii, I'll still be able to play all my games. I'll say it again, most people would be just fine with a 200 gigabyte micro SD card for the entire life cycle of their Nintendo Switch. Nintendo games are typically pretty small in file size, and Nintendo is very good at compression, unlike some game companies. Warzone, you absolute piece of trash. 200 gigabytes on my Xbox, making me download another 66 gigabytes of data that already is on my Xbox. Also, if you decide that the current amount of storage space that you have isn't enough, and you don't wanna spend $400 on a massive micro SD card, you can always just get multiple micro SD cards and swap them out depending on what games you want to play. Just make sure the system is off when you swap out the micro SD cards or else the system will yell at you. Moving data between micro SD cards is very simple. All your saved data is on the Switch's internal memory. So the micro SD card only has game data and updates and stuff like that. So in the past, what I've done is just pop a new micro SD card in and rapidly re-download everything. Honestly, it only took me about a day. It actually went pretty quick. However, the easiest way would be to just plug both micro SD cards into your computer and drag and drop all the contents. Okay, I was not expecting that to take seven hours, but I have 400 gigabytes of stuff, so. Nintendo has a listing on their help site that gives you a step-by-step, -step, but it really is just as easy as dragging and dropping your files. You can even just leave them on your computer if you wanna back them up. You cannot put your micro SD card into a different switch, which is very annoying if you're trying to transfer data between switches, like if you got a brand new switch. That's another case where you just have to re-download everything. A potential downside to going all digital is sharing games. You can't just give somebody the cartridge when you're done playing it. So if you have maybe multiple family members and you wanna pass the game between all of you, you can't do that. However, if you have multiple accounts on your primary Switch, they will be able to play your digital purchases. If you have multiple Switches, your secondary Switch can also play those games, but it must be connected to the internet and only the account that purchased the game will be able to play it. You also will not be able to use this technique to play games via multiplayer with your other console, but that's not how physical games work either. You can't just clone a cartridge. Lastly, Games are more expensive on digital storefronts. It's much easier to find a deal on physical games, like at big box retailers or even on Amazon. I've never seen a buy two, get one free deal on any digital storefront. The PlayStation Network will sell games at a discount to PlayStation Plus subscribers, but those deals still aren't as good as sales in actual stores. Now, this doesn't mean that there aren't good sales on the eShop every now and again, because sometimes there are. But overall, 
you will find better deals on physical software when available. Personally, for me, I always buy games as soon as they come out because I gotta be in the know. It's part of, it's part of the territory here. And as we all know, when games just come out, they're always their full MSRP. So I'm not really losing any money being all digital, aside from the price of the massive SD card and buying games twice, that whole thing. Okay, so maybe it is costing me a little bit. I should just do Gamefly. But the convenience of having the game on my Switch wherever I am and not having to change cartridges when I'm lazy at home is worth it for me. I don't have to go looking around my house for that game I wanted to play. And if it's ever removed from the eShop, I have the peace of mind that it's on my Switch already. I don't have to worry about it. So the concerns you may have about going all digital might not be all that bad. But of course, the best case scenario is just be a mixture of both. Get whatever is convenient for you. Maybe you're not a crazy person and you don't have to be all one way or the other. As far as next gen goes with PS5 and Xbox Series X, I would love to be all digital, but I have a feeling there's gonna be major problems with storage space. Game files on those consoles are gonna be massive because they already are, and they're not really giving us much more storage space because the hard drives are SSDs. Sure, you can store the games on an external, but I could also just store the games on their discs. But that's a whole topic for another time. What do you guys think? about going all digital or going being all physical on your Nintendo Switch. Which way are you? Have you had thoughts one way or the other? Do you just not really care? Are you a normal person? Are you comfortable getting games however you can? Leave it in the comments below, add me on Twitter, and you know all this other social media garbage. Of course, you can never be all physical because there are games that are only available digitally, unless you just avoid those games altogether, but then you're missing out on some great stuff. Anyway, we got new videos and live streams all the time. Our schedule is in a pin tweet over on Twitter. We got Wolf Den live every single Wednesday. We also got streams over on twitch.tv slash Wolf Den if you want more of this face. But if you don't want too much, you can go to youtube.com slash Wolf Den Clips where we take all those live streams, just make them a little bite sized. What's the lore in arms? Don't they, don't some people just magically get those arms? Mine would be rigatoni arms. It'd be like Min Min, but Italian. Again, Thank you, Gamefly, for helping support this video so I don't have to rely on YouTube's monetization. But of course, the most important thing that you can do here, the easiest thing, is just subscribe. And share this video with a friend. A friend who maybe is thinking about going all digitally, maybe they are all digital already, maybe they have some concerns about it, or maybe they're just a brand new Switch owner. Thank you guys very much. Have yourself a very good week.